y'all. So this is a wig. This wig is about four, five years old. And on top of that, it was like balled up in a bag, just raggedy as on the wet, couldn't even comb through it. So I'm gonna show y'all how to, how I revamp, re well, I'm not revamp because I ain't do nothing. Just how to clean up the wigs, get them back to how you bought them. Because these wigs are investments. You don't, once it gets like you can't run your fingers through it, you don't just throw it away or something. No, you wash that money like it's your own hair. And you, I'm going to just show y'all. I'm going to show y'all what to do. All right, so got this unit. It's a green and pretty messy. I haven't worn it in probably about four years. So I'm going to show y'all how to get your wig right. Well, my wigs anyways with my hair. Um, you know, you buy this hair. Don't buy that other stuff. Just buy this like I'm just playing. Buy what you want to buy. But I can't speak. I'm, I'm not able to speak for theirs. This. I'm only able to speak for my own. And I actually, I forgot. I had got, I got some green dot on this one when I did it years ago. I ain't know no better. All right. So I actually do two whole washes on my wigs, just like if it was my own hair. And um, make sure it's a lot of suds and, and, and yeah, wash that thing. You brush it out with the detangler uh, shampoo brush. I'm not even sure what this thing called, but you get them, get that thing out. And I used my brush, but I wanted to get real close to the, to the actual tracks. I was about to say the scalp, but it's not a scalp. So, uh, yeah. And you rinse that thing and wash it again, which I actually didn't show y'all the second wash. But once you see the first one. You know how to do it. This is my brush that I was talking about. I got conditioner in there right now. And I'm detangling the wig with the conditioner in there. If you don't got one of these brushes, go to charlestemple.com. You might want to get one. It's the best brush. Make sure you're holding your lace right there. Don't hold the actual lace part. Hold it on the black part because you don't want to mess that lace up. And ruin the whole wig. So just make sure you hold it right. You don't want to make the lace deformed and all that. So when you're rinsing a conditioner out, be prepared to be rinsing for a long time. You got to rinse until the water is clear. So it's going to take a good little minute. And then you can either blow dry or air dry. I always prefer to air dry. It takes longer, but it just makes the unit come out better. And then I part my hair as I'm going to wear it while it's wet because it, it just comes out better that way. Even though once it's dry, I make sure it's flat. With the hot comb, I still put a little bit of foam wrap or mousse or something up there just to make sure it's flat, flat. Then I let it dry. Finish. My face closed out. Where the lace at though? Where the lace at? Where the oh, that lace go? That lace go? But you can barely see. You can't. <laughs> uh, I said the lashes and wigs on my website, charlestemple.com, or you can type in charlestemple.com. I had did my makeup right, but then I was like, this. I look dead. I look like a ghost. So I just, I just washed it off. That's why you can see all my acne and stuff. I think it's been breaking up. But, um, ain't no glue up here. Ain't no glue up here, baby. I ain't wore this wig, you know, I don't know how long. But the thing about it is, I'm scared to go outside like this. I'm about to take the lashes and the lip gloss, lipstick off. I don't like to be too pretty. Because then people will think I'm going to look like that all the time. It's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Baby, let me tell you what. I tell you what. Run up on me one day, you gonna think I'm a man or something. <laughs>
Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. See y'all next time.